So in the design process, you do dichronic and synchronic analysis. You look at all similar products in the market and you also look at all other products which will help you in understanding this. So here you see a lot of bottles are available in the market. So what are these specialized bottles which we need to manufacture to understand or design? Take all the interesting cues from the existing bottles, from their lids, from their materials and check how we can learn. Similarly, we, we, uh, we took pictures, we asked our you know, Jawans to send us pictures from their mobiles and we could look at their operation. See the circle, they are carrying an old bislery bottle, which is lightweight. But very interestingly, they came and told us, so this bottle is dangerous. Because this old bislery bottle or the old Coca-Cola bottle we carry makes sound and that sound is very dangerous for us. It reveals where we are and we may get shot. It is life and death. It is not that simple. So that was a great uh, insight. We learned from them and then we decided, my God, we need to make a bottle which doesn't make any sound, which is very robust and you know, which is uh, you know, good for carrying large amount of water. So you have to work hard to make the bottle lightweight. So every context situation is leading to a material selection for my bottle, see? And then we also looked at all the available international filtration, you know, uh, uh, mechanisms. You all heard about this life straw, very good for trekkers. And our CRPF also was inspired and they bought some life straws for themselves. But they found out that it is uh, like not very useful because the type of clogging which happens to them is very high and you spent 2000 to 8000 rupees on this small unit. Again context, see, the life straw was made for a different purpose. It is not for the critical context of a CRPF Jawan who is under operation and he's in the field, you know, with no water, heavily thirsty. That context is very critical. So here you can see all the aspects which we analyzed and studied. So the, the first one is the life straw. You can look at what it is made of, what type of filtration it is doing. 0.2 micron level of sieves. So you are filtering bacteria and then you have lifetime capacity of how many liters, pretty good. As soon as the micron pore size reduces, what happens? The pressure to pump increases. But as soon as you go to 0.02 micron, you reduce a pump. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So it's not the technology is not around us. It is around us. But have we made it into a usable product? Not yet. We can go that route. But remember, we have made a mandate for ourselves that within the student's project, we will take the project forward. So finally, what we did, our concern was, you know, very immediate. So we chose the AquaGuard on the go, which is this particular, you know, uh, the filter bottle. And this filter bottle has the nano filtration inside this uh, detail but we said we won't use this bottle well we'll use the filter unit which is very good and with this filter unit we'll remove all the problems they were facing you know, i was telling you they were inside the water so it is smelling now i narrowed down on a technology which is already available so now our design can leapfrog because now we've designed a technology so what are the other things which we'll do this technology has small pore sizes cheaper and replaceable extremely cost effective easily available in indian market so now, what is the next step we should do? We must see within the context, you know, will it, will it work in this situation? 